Forbes magazine, I have to say, we looked, and this is uh, apropos of this week with all the financial news because they've been sort of the, the Bible, I mean, of, of, of magazines I've no, ever known about financial matters. And five days before the Silicon Valley Bank crashed, look at their, their head, they had America's best banks list. <laughs> They made America's best bank five days before, and this is not the only time. I don't remember if you remember WeWorks, which was valued at like, I don't know, $40 billion or something, and this guy, Adam Newman, was the guy who was going to take it. It was going to be the biggest thing, WeWorks, and that crashed. Elizabeth Holmes was also on the cover of Forbes. <laughs> Theranos was her company. That is, she is now going to jail. She was sentenced to 11 years in jail. <coughs> Sam Bankman-Fried was on the cover of Forbes. <laughs> I'm not kidding, and he's looking at like a hundred years in jail. <laughs> so we went back through the files, and I can tell you some of these covers for Forbes over the years. Would you like to see? I mean, they—they they have. Uh, yeah, they are—they are not the best at prognosticating. I gotta say. Uh, look at this one. We've seen the future, and it's spelled Sears. Yeah. <laughs> <They're>... <laughs> uh, restaurant trends 2020. Buffets, buffets, buffets. <laughs> that did not age well. Uh, Prince Harry and Meghan, the power couple that will save the monarchy. <laughs> uh, the sky's the limit for Malaysia Airlines. Oh, that was... uh, Investor's Guide 1995, we're all in on CD racks. Uh, Going places with Jeffrey Epstein, all aboard the Flat Free Express with Bill Clinton, Prince Andrew, and Donald Trump. Um, Yeezy Street, how Kanye West will help Adidas escape its German past. And of course, MySpace, move over Facebook, social media has a new boss. Well, 